desperately needed some socks and underwear before going to New York. Just getting back from the gym. Sorry that the video here is not so hot. It's on my phone. It's a little late here. Got a new skateboard. This will be my mode of transportation until I get the boosted board, of course. Okay, so I didn't get to do what I wanted to do for the Labor Day special, but I promise I'll get you back during this week. I'm gonna do what the surprise was supposed to be. But I thought instead I would do kind of a overview of Labor Day, where it came from, its roots, what it meant then, and what it means now. Look at that. They're too cute. Um, so although Labor Day has numerous contemporary connotations in our life, it stems from something way bigger. During the late 19th century and the early 20th century, labor organizers fought for better rights for workers. During the late 19th century, the US was suffering from a recession. Due to that economic recession, a lot of companies saw decreases in their business. The Pullman Company, owned by George Pullman, which created rail cars, saw a major decrease in business, and as a result, had to lay workers off. And although a lot of people at the time were losing their jobs or getting wages cut, that didn't affect the price of living. The price of living basically remained the same, or in some cases actually increased. So you have people on one hand losing their jobs and getting lower wages, and the rent increasing. So that never works out. These tensions led to the Pullman strike, and the Pullman strike was so bad that at the time, President Grover Cleveland actually sent in federal troops. And when you mix really angry, recently laid off workers with overzealous federal troops, uh, that's not the best recipe. In fact, 30 workers were killed as a result of this conflict. President Grover Cleveland at the time to appease incensed workers pushed through the holiday Labor Day. And as a result of that labor movement, workers in the US are now guaranteed an eight hour workday and the right to organize. Since becoming a holiday in 1894, we can all agree that Labor Day has become something else. It's the only existing holiday to celebrate workers, but it's become a day about rest, drinks, partying, shopping, stuff like that. Actually, a lot of retailers report that Labor Day almost matches Christmas in sales. Along with being the unofficial end of summer, apparently it's also the arbiter of when to stop wearing white. So there's that too. But it really is a day that we can reflect on what it was to be a worker in the 19th century versus what it is to be now. Because of that, along with other labor movements, we now have the rights we have in the United States as workers. But a lot of those rights are constantly challenged and constantly trying to be changed by certain politicians. It really does serve as a day to kind of reflect on where we came from, you know? But as you saw, I went shopping, but that's because I needed underwear. So, you know, I'm not judging anyone that uses it as a day to go shopping. And it makes sense because everybody has off, so retailers are obviously gonna take advantage of that. But everybody should try and take two minutes and learn a little bit about our history when it comes to this holiday. Because a lot of people died in order to have the rights that we all now have as workers. I realize that that's a very general statement because a lot of us don't have those rights, although most of us do and you're supposed to. So just take that as kind of a general sweeping statement, even though those are awful. I like to take these kinds of days in the year and try and learn a little bit about history and learn about where they came from and why they are what they are. And I hope that that wasn't completely boring 
Um, I'm sorry I wasn't able to do the surprise I wanted to do. Hopefully I will be able to get you back during the week with the surprise. But until then, thank you for watching the vlog. We will be back to our normal vlog tomorrow, and I look forward to seeing you guys then. Thank you.